Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. Um, I'm about to get ready to wash my face. Um, because in the last video, I told you I did my makeup for no reason. But, um, I decided to go ahead and make a tutorial out of it. Because I already have on my foundation. The next thing that I would do at this point would be, um, to go ahead and contour and highlight. When you contour and highlight, there is a number of things that you can use. You can use a darker foundation. And this is the big eight, which is a couple shades darker than my skin tone. That's what I normally use on a day to day basis to use a blush. Um, you can use an eyeshadow. Actually, today, just to make it more dramatic, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow, which you wouldn't use, but just to show it, because I've seen a lot of them where they contour and you really can't see it, but. Um, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow because you can see I'm going to highlight with a white. Um, there's a number of brushes that you can use. You can use one like this. You can use one like this. Um, you can use one like this. This is the one that I contour with on a daily basis. And I guess I'll just go ahead and use that one because they need to be cleansing. I'm going to use a black eyeshadow. It's recommended that you use something that if you highlight with something shimmery. Because you want light to catch it. So, we have it in there. And you contour in the place where your cheek sinks in. You could actually contour a lot of things. But, when you contour your face. Wherever your fingers go in is where you want to contour. So mine would be here. We bring it out into the hair. Also go around the hairline. So let me come to one side so you can see the difference. My hairline starts back kind of far, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Okay. Another place to contour, popular place, the nose. So you can take this brush, or you can take a smaller one, the eyeshadow brush. Supposed to make it look smaller and more narrow. Let me blend that back. Can contour there. Um, the socket I have on the smoke, so it's already contoured. But take an eyeshadow brush, take it through there. You can contour your lips. Um, there are no things that you can contour, as I was saying. Um, so, this side of my face looks more chiseled than this one, so it works like we wanted it to. Non-contoured, contoured. Now I'm going to highlight. Like I said earlier, I'm going to use a white eyeshadow. It's just going to show, but this actually looks kind of yellow today, but white. Anywhere where light would naturally hit it, hit your skin, that's where you would want to 
um, highlight. To make contrast stand out more, you can put a little bit of highlight on the edges of the contour. Make sure you blend. So makeup is all about blending. Um, like I said, with the nose, pop a little highlight. With the edges of the brow. I like under the brow actually this is the arch look higher. My skin is kind of oily, so I, I wouldn't do this on myself, but as you can see, our face is really really, really chiseled and defined on this side. something that has to live with. <laughs> anyway, just remember that contouring is to make something look easy or to look something more sunken in. Contour is a shadow. That's why you use something darker in your skin tone. A highlight, you can use, um, depending on your skin color, you can use a peach, you can use a gold, you can use a really shimmer like pink. Um, you can use a lot of different things, just depending on what suits you. You just want to uh, think about what colors you would use. Um, just look at your skin. Just look in the mirror at your skin. And you can go from there because your skin has natural pigments in it, of course, but you could look at your skin and tell what colors would suit you as a skin tone. So I hope this helps some of you guys out. Um, I know that you can see it, so that's not a big issue. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video. And happy late 4th of July, because it's officially the 6th. So, y'all have a good day, and thank y'all for watching.